Puggy. Puggy, guess where we're going today? We're going to the Gilly Islands. Woohoo! We've heard, um, I don't know why I'm woohooing, because we've heard some really mixed things about the mission it is to get there. And that's probably putting it lightly. If our inbox is anything to go by, the bad reviews online, and judging by a few news articles around failing boats recently, it seems like the biggest question is whether or not it's safe or still even worth trying to reach them at all. So we did some research and decided to go ahead with it and bring you along for the ride. So I've actually been, I have to admit, I've been, I think it was 11 or 12 years ago to Gilly T and I remember at one stage I couldn't even get a seat, I was stuck outside for like two hours on the top in the heat. We booked with Ekajaya because we read that it was the, the biggest, biggest, potentially the slowest, but the most stable. We also booked our transfer through them, which was 350,000, which is kind of a lot, but we, we had a guy. We got ripped off, but that's okay. But he rocked up and you get like door to door service. It's been pretty mint. So we should mention Sweet we drove stickers. from Ubud to Padding Bai, which was like an hour sort of to the northeast, and everything's been pretty smooth so far. But if you read the reviews online, not so much about Ekajaya, but just in general, Horrific. I think we're in for a real treat. But it does seem like the gillies are worth it. They're three tiny islands off the coast of Lombok, not actually part of Bali, but still considered a dreamy spot to reach on a Bali vacay and somewhere I've always wanted to see. We know a lot of you guys were surprised to see that some of the beaches around Bali are black sand and definitely more for surfing, whereas all three gillies have white sand palm trees, clear water, coral reefs, and loads of turtles. A more chill beachy vibe compared to Bali, but sometimes avoided because of the obvious travel troubles in order to reach them. <laughs> Just picked up a few new subscribers. <laughs> so we got some coffees, there's a 50,000. 50, I have to say, um, this is different to the experience that I remember, which was like being like rushed down into, I mean that might still happen, but like um, I was just sitting down there in the heat at the port, miserable. We're kind of, I think we're one street back, um, kind of chilling out, sheltered, some fans, some coffee, not coffee susu, it's all V60 drip coffee. To go with the coffees, our lovely hosts at our guest house made us breakfast to go. So I got um, some pancakes and then Danger got some... <laughs> <laughs> that, that one looks a bit plain, but hey, that's my, my choice. Some basic world eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice though because she asked if we, like, we said we were leaving early, right? Like she could have just said, oh, okay. No, we just said, look, you don't need to worry about breakfast because we were leaving before breakfast started. And she was like, no, 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 let me make it for you. What do you guys want? And we were like, oh, that's so sweet. We've just been told to walk down through this laneway to the port. Everyone with tickets gets to go. Who knows what that means? Don't know if that means we're going now, or if we just get to stand in the sun for a while. <laughs> TBC. We don't really have any more instructions other than just walk this way. There's about 50 people behind us and we happen to be in the front. <laughs> I don't know who put us in the front. Hopefully because we've got the old uh, the badge and the sticker, someone will be like, yo, this way, this way. But for now... I think we'll be able to spot the boat. Yeah, that's true. Do we go up and this way? No, thank you, thank you. So there's also a uh, tax of 10,000 per person. Oh, did you say go down? Really? Oh. Okay. We go down now. Buggy. Buggy. That's for the, the tax, the 10,000 each, was yeah, it? Yeah, 10,000 each. Okay. No, it's okay. Thank you, brother. You can see already, though, the beach is way more beautiful. No, thank you, thank you. Ekajaya. That wasn't, that wasn't bad at all. No, so far so good. super easy. Yeah. So yeah, we just had to go and pay our tax and then give our boarding pass. Now the next, the next test is, when does it leave? <laughs> yeah, that's where some of the delays can come in apparently. Um, yeah, we've heard people sitting and waiting for like three hours and stuff. I don't think, sure, we're, I don't think we're gonna get that. This is, this is running smooth yeah. as.
tired. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have time to get an itchy before we started. Um, I mean, it is only 9.30, but we left like half an hour after we were supposed to. Yeah, 30 minutes away, yeah. that's not bad. Not bad at all. So far, everything's been running really smoothly. Um, yeah, surprisingly so. Yeah, surprisingly, but um, I don't know how long this is going to take. That's the thing, is I think they say an hour and a half, but then you read the reviews and people say more like two and a half to three. The good news is they've already come around at 9.30 with what's called bin tanks, asking if we want some, so. What's cool is once you get on board, um, once you get moving, sorry, is that there's, a, there's an upstairs, you can go up and basically just sunbathe. They've got uh, Oasis playing up there on these massive speakers. Way more beautiful up there. Obviously we get some air conditioning, it's not hot here. No, it's fine, and we are just about to Hence the AirPods, we're going to be watching White Lotus. It's so good, season, season two. two. Actually no, season two is probably not as good. It's definitely not as good, but like, it's a very polarizing show. Like, it is, it is. We either love it or hate it. We like the weirdness. Yeah. took an hour and a half on the dot so all of that crap we were talking at the start I mean we were going based on what other people have told us as well that was seamless that but was look at the queues there see we had nothing like that but we did on the way back so I probably should quickly jump in just to sort of round out the experience of how it went on the way back no one is smooth and I'm not sure if that's just a case of it's always that way but either way we waited for well over an hour in the heat i mean it's a stunning place to wait but it's just far from ideal and then just zero communication about what was happening i think we're going on this one. Oh, oh we're transferring <laughs> maybe we are oh what is going on back in asia right? we've got no idea what's happening yeah, no communication you sit there and then someone comes around yelling and then you get on a boat that you didn't book to go to a location that you don't know we're gonna end up <laughs> But then once we are on board and we've done that sort of weird sea crossing there, uh, seamless, absolutely seamless once we we're on board. So that was all good, but arriving back in Padang Bai is just as bad as what the reviews say. And it really pays to pre-arrange transport. You can't get a grab. That's one of those blocked areas. You're gonna get absolutely uh, yelled at by local taxis. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> most hustle that we've seen since being in Bali. So apparently it's quite chill when you go over to the island. Maybe that's an island time thing, they chill. Coming over this way, right, people yelling in your face. So hot. We don't necessarily know what the accurate reason as to why it was so much smoother going over to the islands or if that is always the case. Let us know if you have experience or you know a little bit more, but we kind of had our theories on the day anyway. I think it's because we left so early. You know, we we're on like one of the first boats, so it can't be late. <laughs> yeah, I know what you mean. And the thing about that is like, it's 11 a.m. now, we can't go check in, so maybe that's why people go late, but I would much rather get here early, avoid all the chaos. Wait and then um <laughs> the chaos like i said avoid the chaos and then we can either go and get some food now or we'll go to our um go to our accommodation what's that let's drop our bags off yeah we might be able to check in early or we drop our bags off and and walk from there because you might not know there are no cars at all on any of the gilly islands but welcome to paradise. Ain't she pretty? I was just like taking a minute to look at the water. It's the first time I've actually looked at it. It is stunning. So would we go through all of that again to get to the Gilly Islands? Absolutely. In the next vlog we'll show you around Gilly Tea, which is the most developed of all three. And it's known for its party scene at night, but it's chill during the days. Our highlight was Gilly Air and an amazing snorkeling trip. It's all coming up soon, so we'll catch you then.